Dogecoin's price has been stabilizing over the last couple of weeks, over the last couple of days, even though the entire crypto market is doing extremely well. Bitcoin was up almost 10% at one point today. Dogecoin's price has been relatively stable. It's in that number six position in terms of all cryptos. And this is really a good thing. We like to see that Dogecoin has established itself as a big player in the crypto space. No matter what's happening, it is able to hold its position. It's not like the other meme stocks, which are just tanking. But we had some very exciting news come out earlier today from the one and only Mark Cuban. And he spoke specifically about Dogecoin and a couple of other things. So in today's video, we're first gonna go over Dogecoin's price. After that, we're gonna talk about Mark Cuban, what he said about Dogecoin in particular. And at the end of the video, we're gonna talk about a problem that he pointed out, a very key problem with Dogecoin and Robinhood. So I'm gonna put timestamps down below for everything so you could skip ahead to any portion of the video you wanna see. If you wanna just see what Mark Cuban says about Dogecoin, what he says about Robinhood and Dogecoin combined, you can skip ahead to any portion. And if you're new here, please be sure to like the video down below, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notifications. Let's try and get this video to 2000 likes so we could reach more people in the Dogecoin community because that's the only way we can get this sort of positive news out there is by you guys liking these videos. But anyways, right now, Dogecoin's price is sitting right around 32 cents per coin. We've been really just stabilizing between 30, 30. 35, 30, and 40 cents per coin over the last couple of weeks. You can see this is the one month chart. And what you can see with this is that over the last couple of weeks, Dogecoin's price has been just fluctuating between on May 3rd, about 30 cents per coin to where it is now right around, you know, 35 cents. So between 30 and 35 cents per coin, that is what it's been stabilizing at over the last couple of weeks. The good news is, is that right now we are seeing that even when the entire market crashed, even when the entire market is going up. Dogecoin has been able to hold its position as that number six crypto. It has been as high, it's been higher than that at some points, but really the good news is, is that we've been able to stay in the top 10 in terms of all cryptos out there, which in my mind is very important. We don't want to see it drop below that. We want to see that people are continuing to show interest in it, continuing to hold their positions and continuing to like to be part of the Dogecoin community, which is what we are seeing right now. And is actually very exciting. So for people who are saying, you know, Michael, uh, Dogecoin hasn't moved a lot lately. It's over, it's dead. The reality is, is it's not gonna increase 100% in every couple of days like it used to. The, the, what, the good scenario, the best case scenario right now is yes, we wanna see it continue to go up, but also we wanna see that it's gonna be around for years and years to come. It's gonna develop and be built on um, you know, get more efficient, more secure, and more companies are going to use it. So if anything right now, seeing a bit of a period, a month, a couple of months where we're seeing the price relatively stable, hold strong above 30 cents per coin. In my mind, that's a really good sign. But you know, pe other people think different. Let me know what you guys think about that. But I think relatively, that is a good thing. Now let's talk about what is going on with Mark Cuban, because this was very exciting. So in an interview just the other day, Mark Cuban came out and said that, first of all, you've got to know why you're investing, whether that's in Dogecoin, whether that's in AMC, whether that's in GameStop, Shiba Inu, Cardano, Ethereum, it doesn't matter. He said, basically, no matter what you're investing in, you got to know why you're investing in it. He says, it's not a good enough reason just to say, oh, I watched a YouTube video on this. Oh, I watched a TikTok. Oh, I watched, you know, like I, I read about this. He's like, no, that's not a good enough reason. You got to say to yourself, did your friend just tell you, did you just see a video and that's why you're investing or are you investing in the company because you actually believe in it? So he said, whenever you're investing in Dogecoin, he's like for him, for example, he believes in Dogecoin. That's why the Dallas Mavericks accept Dogecoin as a form of payment. That's why he always is talking about Dogecoin. He believes in it. He realizes the risks. Obviously there are a lot of risks to investing in Dogecoin, but he believes in it. He wants to be a part of it. So that's why he invests in it. For example, if you invest in Dogecoin, but you don't believe in it long term, you shouldn't invest in it. That is what he said. Even if you like being part of the community, you got to have a reason to say, look, you know the risks of investing in it, but you're willing to take those risks because you like it, you believe in it long term. That's no matter what we're talking about, whether that's Apple stock or Dogecoin stock. But he said, you got to keep that in mind because a lot of people right now are getting into the like the motion of just investing in the next big thing. And then they lose a lot of money 
And that's where you need to be careful because just because you hear a lot of people talking about something doesn't mean you should invest. You got to do your own research. You got to look into it and you got to make sure that you really believe in it. He said, the bottom line is, is that right now, not every crypto blockchain or DeFi project will work. There are going to be a lot that fail. Dogecoin, he hopes a lot. All of us hope will do well. It's going to be the crypto of the world. We hope that happens. But he says, it's not a secret that a lot of these projects are going to fail and there's an incredible amount of competition and for that reason you got to make sure that you really believe in what you do crypto is very competitive people come out with projects all the time but he says what happens is you got to make sure you believe in what you're investing in so that's number one the other thing is is after that he came out and spoke about what is going on with dogecoin and robin Hood. he gave us a couple of warnings and he said a couple of suggestions to you know maybe you shouldn't use robin hood maybe you should but so anyways right now mark cuban came out and said that with robin hood the problem with robin hood right now flat out is that if you own crypto you cannot spend it so if you buy dogecoin if you buy ethereum if you buy bitcoin you can't use that money to buy anything it's stuck in your Robinhood account because you can't transfer those coins elsewhere good news is Robinhood has been working on this for a while they've spoken about this we've done videos on this they are working on this but as of right now you cannot buy anything with your crypto holdings in Robinhood. so that's a downside the positives are is that Robinhood is easy to invest in and you know it's it's not intimidating to people who are new to crypto my opinion <laughs> i own most of my crypto in coinbase i like coinbase a lot better you can buy you can sell they have partnerships with android apple they have a lot a lot more going for them with crypto you can easily transfer your crypto to cold storage it's a lot easier but for Robinhood, for example that's where a lot of people are actually trading dogecoin according to research according to analytics a lot of people actually own their dogecoin on Robinhood, and we see this because one of the whale accounts a lot of people assume is related to Robinhood. The Dogecoin whale account a lot of people think is Robinhood's. So he said, you know, right now, the greatest inhibitor to growth for Dogecoin is that you can't spend the Doge you buy on Robinhood. That's the biggest inhibitor. He said, once Robinhood opens this up, once Robinhood says, you know what, now you can buy stuff, now you can transfer your crypto out of Robinhood, now you can use your crypto in Robinhood to buy like physical items, that's when we're gonna see Dogecoin's price really start to take off. He said, this is the biggest inhibitor. It's been this for a while. He said this multiple times. This is not new, but it's exciting to see that he is still talking about Dogecoin, still pushing for it, and still something that is on the front of his mind, you know, still something the Dallas Mavericks like. And I thought it was very interesting that he came out and said this. The one was, you know, to talk about Dogecoin, meme stocks, and those, and also the other thing with what is going on with Robinhood and relation to not just Dogecoin, but crypto in general. So let me know what you guys think of all of this. I found it very interesting to see what he had to say about Dogecoin, about Robinhood and all of that. But either way, um, the major catalyst moving forward for Dogecoin, things that we can keep an eye out on are going to be either Elon Musk like uh, accepting Dogecoin as a form of payment for Tesla. That would be massive. The other thing that I could see happening fairly soon, which would be another big, big catalyst, would be Robinhood opening up saying, okay, now you could buy stuff with Dogecoin. Once either of those things happen, those are the clear catalysts that could have major impacts short term. But obviously there are other things that could develop. Those are the only things that I could see happening though very soon because they've already been talked about and there are rumors already circulating around. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video please be sure to like it if you're part of the dogecoin community helps me out a lot um leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next episode